Is your Nvidia Shield running slow? Maybe the screen's frozen, or it's not turning on at all. There are a number of different methods, from easy to hard, to help you get your device working brand new again. So today, we're going over four methods that I have personally used in the past whenever my Nvidia Shield stops working properly. I make weekly videos helping people like you save money on streaming services and learning how to optimize their device. If you enjoy this kind of content, hit the subscribe button right down below. Method number one is as simple as it gets. So first, if your device is not working properly, maybe some apps are running slow, it's very often that all we have to do is going to settings and reset your device. And the reason for this is simple. Often our device is not turned off or reset and only in sleep mode. And sometimes it's like that for a year plus if you have continuous power to it. So when you're on the settings menu, you'll see quick settings right here. I suggest going to reboot. Now this will completely reset your device when you click it. Watch what happens. Click that reboot option right there and wait. And just like that, you're gonna see it start to boot up again. This is a lot like resetting your PC or your laptop. It turns off, then it turns back on again. And when it goes on the home menu, I suggest letting it sit for two minutes before using it and just check to see if it's working. If it's not, Move to step number two. Performing a power cycle should be the second step if your Nvidia Shield is not working properly. This requires the device to be turned off and disconnected directly from its power source. Often when your Nvidia Shield is turned off, it's actually only in sleep mode. If your device is still responsive to your remote and it's not completely frozen, use the remote to make sure it is turned off. Or if your remote isn't working and you have the Nvidia Shield TV app connected, you can also use that to turn it off. Now, if it's completely frozen, your only option might be to completely unplug it from its power source. Although I never suggest doing that without turning it off first, because that can cause some issues with your device. Now you wanna leave it unplugged for around five minutes. And there's a simple reason for that. That extra time will allow the capacitors to completely discharge as sometimes they may have some remaining power. Left. Once that time is up, plug it back in and check to see if it is working again. You would be surprised how many times this fixes simple issues. Let's go to step number three, a hard reset. So it didn't work when we did a soft reset. It didn't work when we did a power cycle. Well, this is the third step and it's a little bit more, I don't want to say risky, but it involves more work for a reason. Now, what we're going to do is what I call a hard reset. This will essentially completely reset your device back to its factory settings like you've never used it before. So head to settings. From settings, you wanna scroll down till you find device preferences and then scroll all the way down and you're gonna find this factory reset option. Now reminder, this will wipe all of the data from your device. However, if you have any internal storage like an SD card, that will remain. So you will have to re-download apps and re-log into all your accounts. But this usually fixes a lot of issues, including your device running extremely slow. So click that factory reset option. And if this still didn't work for you, move to step number four. Now, maybe you're not able to access your home screen at all. Well, that's where method number four comes in. This is a hard reset using a little button that is available on both the tube version and the pro version of the shield. Step number one, unplug your device from its power source. You want this thing completely off and let it sit for two to three minutes. Now on your Nvidia Shield 2 version, you're gonna see this little button right above the HDMI port. The unfortunate part for mine is the button actually got pushed in. So I can't actually reset this one. If it, this ever happens to this version, I'm gonna have to throw it out and get a new one. Now, what you wanna do is with the HDMI port still plugged in, hold down that button. While that button is being held down, go ahead and plug in your power source. Continue to hold down that button for five to 10 seconds. And what you're gonna see is this boot menu pop up on your screen. Now using the power button on your remote or by pressing this little button, click it until it moves down to factory data reset. Now once you reach that option, hold down the power button or that button and that will start the reset process. Now this is the same thing as going into your menu and doing the factory data reset. It wipes everything out. And in most cases, this is going to fix 99% of issues with your device. But if that still isn't working, move to method five. I always try to leave the options that cost money to last. And that's what I've done here. 
because there might be a few parts of your Nvidia Shield that are just broken. For instance, if your device is not powering on at all, it could just be your power cord, or you could have a faulty HDMI. Simple solution is if you have another HDMI and another power cord at home that fit your Nvidia Shield, it's a pretty common one. In fact, even this big tri-bit speaker I have uses the same sort of power cord as the Nvidia Shield. In that case, swap it out and see if it powers on and connects. If you don't happen to have it, I have included the links down below to those cords in my description. Nvidia Shield TVs also come with a one year limited warranty directly from Nvidia. So if your purchase is within that year span, which I'm assuming a lot of people watching this video, it's probably not, you can always go directly to them and see what you need to do to begin the warranty process. And the last honest solution is you might have to buy a new device. I'm a big believer that Nvidia is going to be coming out with a new version in the next one to two years. Now, when that happens, I'm not 100% sure. And if that's the case, I suggest maybe not buying a new shield. Instead, maybe you can get an affordable ONN box or just a fire stick. Something cheap that you can just put on another TV when the new version comes out. Thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button right down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.